Good evening. I apologize. I'm coming on a little bit earlier than I said I would, but uh, I share the iPad and the iPad is the only way that I can see your comments. And right now nobody was using it. So it seemed like the perfect time for me to come on and do this live. So hopefully some of you will join me. Please let me know if you're on. Okay. We are gonna create with this Dragonfly Garden um, stamp set tonight. The bundle, actually, we're gonna use the punch as well. So this is one of the ones that I got um, quite a while ago. It was part of when I did um, the on stage, um, but of course it's just gone live for those of you um, who are not demonstrators. So I wanted to just highlight it and uh, make a quick card. So I've done almost all of the prep already, which just makes our video super quick, which I like to keep it short and sweet so you guys aren't um, using up lots of your valuable time and then you can go off and do some crafting. So this um, bundle is also part of a suite. So there's a punch and a stamp set. That's your bundle. And then your suite involves DSP. So there's this beautiful paper and there is some twine and there are also some ladybug trinkets. So those items together make up the suite. So there's this beautiful old olive, old olive, maybe it's mossy meadow, mossy meadow um, braided linen trim. And then these cute little ladybug trinkets, um, six by six sheets of DSP, which are gorgeous, you'll see. And uh, yeah, so that is what makes up the suite. Remembering right now, it's celebration. So any item, $60 or more, and you're earning free goodies. So purchasing this suite for sure would get you from celebration items. The bundle, I don't think the bundle will quite get you $60, but I can't remember to be honest. So this paper is gorgeous and it's got the colors inside of it are basic black, uh, blackberry, calypso coral, bumblebee, and uh, mossy meadow, of course, and then misty moonlight uh, and white. So we're gonna work with a couple of different sheets of this in this card, okay? So like I said, I've done a lot of the prep just so that we can breeze through this. Um, but I will post the dimensions of the card after or you can just sort of recycle back and take another listen. Okay, so this is a card that we are casing and this came out of one of my team meetings. So this card was designed by uh, Rhonda Wade Okay, so we are casing this card. Um, so you can see it used the dragonfly, but it used different paper. So we are going to make that same fun little fold, super quick, um, but now we are going to use the DSP that actually goes with the stamp set. So dragon, what's this? This is called Dandy Garden DSP. Hello, Sandy, and happy Thursday to you. So when I made this card this afternoon, both cards are going to have the misty moonlight. We're just gonna trade out um, the top color that we're gonna use. Uh, so you have your card base and then you just create an extra little bit, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and make this and I'll talk you through the dimensions as we go. And you can see I used the punch and we could have stamped the dragonfly, stamped and punched like I did on the original card. So here we used actually the stamp set and the punch. But what I chose to do instead is there's this one fabulous piece of DSP where you can punch out these large dragonflies and then this second size of dragonfly here, you can also punch out. So you can punch out two different sizes of the dragonfly out of this paper. You just have to be pretty strategic about how you're cutting the paper, okay? So we're gonna move this sort of up into the top corner and we're gonna bring in the supplies I've already prepped and I will get out my ruler so you can see the kind of measurements that we are talking about. That is, of course, if I can find my ruler. Um, so we're gonna get creative, because I can't see it right now. It's clear. Does anyone else have a clear ruler? <laughs> and so I'm constantly losing it. You know what I need to do? I need to like wrap it in washi tape. I'm gonna do that when I find it. So then I wouldn't keep losing it. Okay, so this is our standard width of cardstock. It's four and a quarter. Um, and then what it is, is not the 11 long. So we've got our four and a quarter, 
but then it's only eight, it's eight and three quarters long. So you'll see when I put it on here. So it's eight and three quarters, and then it is scored at three and a quarter, okay? So eight and three quarters, four and a quarter, scored at three and three quarters. And then you're really gonna wanna use your bone folder here to keep, to hold this closed. So that is our card base. Then you're going to need a piece of Whisper White, which we're going to place inside. And so this piece is four and a half by three and a quarter, okay? And we are gonna put this down in the middle. Then we have our second color of cardstock. So this is just gonna be dependent on whatever your DSP is, or you could do it all in the Misty Moonlight. So I've chosen to use the Bumblebee on this card. Um, so this is eight and a half, and then the difference is just our width is only three. And then it's just scored and folded in half, okay? And then inside of that, we have another piece of Whisper White because this is where you would write your message. So this piece is two and three quarters by four, okay? And that's going inside of there. And you're gonna see how we're gonna put that all together. And then our DSP is just going to be our quarter inches smaller on everything. So this piece of DSP is three by three by, I think it's three by four, three by four, yeah, three by four, and that's going on the front here. And then this piece of DSP is four as well, and then it's two and three quarters, and it's going on this piece, okay? Then we have our second to largest stitched circle, and then this is just a little half inch scrap we're gonna stamp on, and then we've got the dragonflies. Okay, so we're gonna move the cutter out of the way and we're just gonna put everything together. So you're gonna see how quickly this card comes together. It's really just a matter of cutting all those pieces. Um, we're not actually going to do a lot of stamping, um, really only the greeting, but like I said, you could have stamped the dragonflies, but I just chose to cut them out of the DSP. So we're really just showcasing the DSP here. Now, um, you're gonna see me using the liquid glue. You're also gonna see me using snail. And no, we can't get this anymore, but I ran out of seal. I didn't order enough replacements, so I had to like dig through my old bits of supplies. So I'm gonna put this white piece in the middle first, okay? So you're gonna use your adhesive, and normally, like I said, I would be using the seal. I have more arriving hopefully tomorrow. Um, I'm not sure how I did that. I always try to have enough refills on hand. So we're just gonna center this here, okay? Perfect. And then we are going to take our next piece of cardstock and we're gonna center that on top of there. So I'm gonna use the liquid glue for that because it gives me a bit more space to move it around. So I'm really a combination user now. I'm a combination of the stamp and seal as well as the um, liquid glue. So I'm gonna fold this in half while I'm gluing it and I'm going to center it on this white piece, okay? I'm gonna press down. I don't want that coming off. Now we're gonna open that up because we are going to line it with this one. Depending on how dark your cardstock is, you might choose not to put this white piece. The other card that I made because it was petal pink, I didn't line it. I just, you could write on the petal pink. I don't find that color is, it's easy to see your pen. Um, and you could write on this bumblebee as well, but I decided to go with the extra layer. Okay, so that is the inside of our card. Now, what we could have done, and what we still could do, you could stamp a little dragonfly in the corner there. So now we're gonna put our DSP on. So we're going to use the coordinating Misty Moonlight on the front here, and then we're going to use the yellow, the bumblebee here, okay? And I just wanted to make a couple of different ones using a couple of the different patterns, and really just to get your thoughts, which one you liked better, if you liked the coral, if you liked the bumblebee. Um, just play around with it, basically. So, just gotta make sure we don't put this on upside down. I 
hear my child yelling at me. Of course, he doesn't know that I am down here. So my apologies when all of a sudden you hear him yelling into the video. Okay, there's that piece. Now we're gonna do this piece. So we're just, you can see we're almost done this card already because I had already prepped these pieces in advance. So by me choosing not to cut on the video, it makes it a lot quicker when you guys are watching and gives us more time for creating. So we're almost done. All right. So that is pretty much that bit of the card. We're gonna stamp our greeting. So we're just using the little for a true friend and I'm gonna stamp that in Misty Moonlight. So this is a tip I've been sharing every time I make a video. So you always wanna look at the back of your stamp. So you can see we have more space at the top here than we have at the bottom. So when I line it up, because I can't really see, I'm gonna go more up to the top than I normally would instead of centering it because I know I have more space there. So you can see if that makes sense to you. It will make sense to you. Hello, Carol from Connecticut. My apologies, I went on early. So you're gonna to have to rewind. Um, but you'll see how that makes sense. If you start to look at your red rubber stamps and see where your spacing is, it'll help you line it up better on your um, cardstock. Okay, we're gonna banner this end. So this is the pick a banner punch. This is the half inch. Now, because I've stamped quite close to the end, I'm not gonna stick this all the way in because I know then that's gonna banner, it's not gonna leave me the um, border I want. So I'm gonna come back a little bit. Okay, so we've bannered the end of that now. So this is just gonna get adhered on here flat. So I'm going to trim a bit off the end, otherwise it might show where our circle is, all right? So I'm gonna put a bit of adhesive on here. And then we're gonna use dimensionals on the circle. The other thing that I was thinking now would have actually looked nice, which we could still do maybe, is you could stick a little piece of um, Misty Moonlight behind that. So let's just see if I can grab a little scrap and put it underneath. And I'm gonna just play around with this. This is again, the beauty of using the, um, hello Lynn Scott, the liquid glue is we have a little bit of flexibility, right? I can still probably pull this up and I'm just gonna make this thinner. And just add this little bit of an accent at the bottom. That way it's just gonna pop a little bit off the white here. Okay. And then I'm going to cut it the same though. Actually, I'm gonna cut it, yeah, I'm gonna cut it the same. All right. And I'm gonna put a tiny bit of adhesive underneath there. I'm not super worried because I know I'm going to put the stitch shape on top of that and it's gonna hold it all down. We're gonna do that. Okay, yes, I like that. So I'm glad we sort of played around with that. Just to have it jump off a little bit. Okay, now we're gonna take our stitch shape. So I see we have some more people joining us now, so thank you, and my apologies for going on early. Like I said, my son and I share this iPad, and uh, so he was busy. So I thought, okay, I'll quickly get on and make the video. He likes to read on this app that we have when he has his bedtime snack, which is what typically happens now, but 
my husband and my son play lacrosse sometimes down in my craft in the gym craft space so I couldn't do the video earlier because they would be down here it's very complicated okay I need your thoughts on this though so I this is why I decided to make this card live so do we want to use a misty moonlight dragonfly so you can see how that looks or do we want to use a bumblebee dragonfly? So I will take your votes as to which one we should use. I'm just gonna stick this piece down and then I will be happy to hear what you guys think. So do we go with the, the, the moonlight dragonfly or do we go with the bumblebee? So that's the moonlight again little pop of the blue, or that is the bumblebee. And then the other thing we're gonna do, we're gonna add a second dragonfly in the coral. So I didn't cut this out because I wanted to show you, of course, the trick. So when you only have a little bit of, so I have two people saying the blue. So we're gonna go with the blue. Sorry, Lynn, I'll make you another one with the, the bumblebee. So when your piece isn't big enough, you grab a post-it note or you just add paper and washi tape. And then this allows me to hold this and line it up in my punch. So now I can line up this little piece out of the DSP. Boom. And there we go. Okay. So we got the votes for the moonlight. So we're gonna go with the moonlight. I know I couldn't decide either, Lynn. That's why I decided I'm gonna make this card um, on the Facebook Live and then I'll let other people decide what they think is the nicest. So when I did this card, the coral version, so just pulling it back into the main frame here, I popped up the big dragonfly and then this little guy, I had just um, flat underneath. Okay, so I'm gonna do the same again. And I kinda liked it like that. I mean, I suppose we could kinda do it up here if we wanna be different. What do you guys think? Yeah, maybe, let's do this one a little bit different. We'll put this guy up top. And then the big one like that. Or do you like it like the original one with the second dragonfly down below? I'll give you guys a second to comment. I can see now. Hello, Vanessa. Hello, Danielle. Thanks for joining me. I apologize to you that I started a bit early, but uh, the video is not that long, so you won't, uh, it won't be too much effort to go back. Okay. Do we want it up top or do we want it like this one? Should we do it? I say we do it up top just because it's different. So I'm just going to put a little bit of adhesive on here. If you wonder why I keep shaking this, it's because I'm near the end of it. So I have to coax it. Okay. Turn this guy over. And then we're gonna put it up top this time. And then we're gonna put the blue one here. Yeah, okay. And then we'll just play around. You like the original. <laughs> well, you know what? This is a great thing. So now we have one of each. We have, you know, the two different colors. We have the two different placements of the dragonflies. So you guys can be sure to actually, you've commented in this video for sure, but feel free to put another comment or like a little vote of which one you liked better. Um, Okay, so now for embellishment. So we're gonna need your votes again. So what I used on this original card was the same thing that I had used from the one that um, Rhonda Wade had um, designed. And she used these elegant faceted gems which go with the Peony Garden. So I used this, that on this one because I wanted to keep the white. 
But for this one, because we're using two of the new in colors, we could use the enamel dots instead. So we're gonna use three. So I think we should use bumblebee dots there for sure. And then it's just whether we want a bumblebee dot on with the dragonflies or whether we want a misty moonlight. I feel like we probably want bumblebee. So I don't know if you guys have these enamel dots. Your take a pick tool is a really good uh, way to get them off the sheet because sometimes if you try to get them off with your finger, you actually separate them and then you they get ruined. So this is a really good trick. It does, unfortunately, I find it kind of does a bit of a number on your putty, but so then we can do a bumblebee dot. I think we want a bumblebee dot because we already have a blue dragonfly. But let's just see what the blue looks like. I don't know, what do you guys think? Have a yellow dot or a blue dot? So there's the blue. And there is the yellow. Yellow. Yeah, I think yellow too. And I can see people are saying that they like this little dragonfly on the other one below. We could change it, I guess. Because um, it's just with the white glue. So people seem to like the dragonfly down here better. This is the thing. As long as you haven't pressed anything too hard, you can move it even dimensionals, as long as you haven't really put a lot of force into it and they aren't gonna rip your paper, you can move them. So there you go. Now it's more like you guys were liking the first one. And I will use my little adhesive eraser and we'll take that right off. Okay, voila, there we go. We are done, my friends. So thank you so much for joining me. And again, like I said, my apologies for starting early, but I just wanted to get on and I can't see your, if I don't have the iPad, I can't see your comments. Okay, so thank you. I'm glad you like this card. If you go back to the beginning, I clearly walked through the dimensions, where you're scoring, where you're folding um, to give you this cute little fancy fold. It's not hard and it's a beautiful one to make using this suite of project of products. So the dragonfly, the stamp set and the DSP. And like I said, we didn't do that much stamping. What you could totally do, you could. So I'm just going to stamp up. Oh, there we go. Sorry guys. Thank you for telling me that I froze. Stamp up the top of this, and then I'm actually going to stamp it off. And then I just need to make sure I line it up. So we could do that, right? Stamp that in the corner. If you want, you can see because I was worried about my freezing that I stamped up on the top bit. So let's do that again. So I just added that on the inside. Um, so I'm just gonna be really careful about where I put the ink this time. Okay, and I'm gonna ink it off again. And then what I'm actually gonna do this time, so this is why we don't ever stamp before we put our card together, but I'm going to place this down so that now my image, it's only going to be on this. There we go. So then you just got a little cute little flower in the corner. 
So now we can say we did some stamping. So, uh, and you know what? I'm just gonna tear this white piece out <laughs> and redo that. But we'll do that off the camera. Okay, ladies, thank you so much. And uh, yeah, if you haven't added this to your collection, it's a really fun set. And if not, try this uh, fancy fold and then feel free to post back a picture of your card. I'd love to see it. Have a great night.